It is important that we heed the warnings of the Lord, that we listen as God helps us to be able to avoid disaster that's coming ahead. I'm so glad that we have a God that's kind and patient, and he will give us a chance to change before judgment falls. Hi, I'm Craig Fritchley, pastor of Calvary Apostolic Tabernacle with today's devotional. In the Old Testament, the children of Israel, they had a roller coaster ride with the Lord. They believed him, God blessed them, but then they lived in those blessings and they started to do their own thing. And then they would live according to their own ways instead of God's ways, and then they would fall into trouble. And God would allow them to go into captivity. And then they would cry unto the Lord and he would bring them out. And then it would happen over and over again. The Lord sent Jeremiah to warn them. In Jeremiah 18, verse 11, it's a New Living Translation. It says, Therefore, Jeremiah, go and warn all of Judah and Jerusalem. Say to them, This is what the Lord says. I am planning disaster for you instead of good. So turn from your evil ways, each of you, and do what is right. God says, If you continue to walk in your own ways and do your own things, then I'm going to let things just turn out disastrous for you. And that disastrous time will wake you up to the point that you'll turn back to me. He says, so you have a choice. Avoid disaster and turn now, or go through disaster and you'll turn later. It's up to you. It really is up to each and every one of us. Are we going to listen to God's voice and let God help us to be able to do the right things and avoid the consequences of our wrongdoing? Or are we going to go ahead and do it and then suffer the consequences? I'm so glad that God warns us. Unfortunately, verse 12 is not the reply the Lord wanted from his people. But the people replied, don't waste your breath. We will continue to live as we want to, stubbornly following our own evil desires. Just be quiet, preacher. Don't tell us about that. We're going to do what we want to do. We don't want you correcting us. We don't want God talking to us. We want to do, and so don't waste your breath. But as a watchman of the Lord that stands in the wall, I've got to waste my breath in your terms and say, turn to the Lord. Don't suffer the consequences. Disaster's coming. My friend, Jesus is coming soon. We need to be ready. And those that have accepted him those that have repented, they've turned from their sins, they've walked with God, they've been baptized, they've allowed God to fill them with his spirit, and they continue to walk with him are the ones who are going to go to heaven. And all the others are going to say, wait a second, I did some good things. And the Lord said, I never knew you because you walked in your own ways and you did your own things. Judgment is coming. We're going to stand before him. And we're either going to be able to go to heaven or we're going to be sent to the lake of fire. It's heaven or hell. Those are the two choices. So turn because disaster awaits. And we don't want eternal judgment. That's an awful thing. Jesus has provided a way for each and every one of us to know him, to walk with him, and to make heaven our home. So listen to the voice of God and turn before it's too late. God bless you. I know we live in an evil world, and people are getting more vile and more bold in their wickedness. But we need to follow God's plan no matter what they're doing. And we need to humbly walk with Him. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next devotional. God bless.